What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can take a screenshot in incognito mode when you're browsing the web in Google Chrome on your Samsung phone. Now, there's some other cool tips and tricks related to this. Um, the way you do this is called Chrome Flags, which is basically some experimental features that you can try in Google Chrome. It works on desktop, any other Android phone as well. Um, but incognito screenshot is probably the most popular one. So I'm going to show you guys that. Then I'll show you some other ones that you might also find useful, so stay tuned for that. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son Jonathan. We got the lion and the velociraptor hanging out today. We always appreciate him giving us some dinos and animals to hang out in the video. And I also want to remind you guys, if you're going to be ordering a Galaxy S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, or regular Galaxy S24 from the Samsung Unpacked launch in January 2024, we are doing the Mystery Box program again. If you've never participated here on the channel, you can get a free case, a free cleaning kit, a free desktop phone stand, other cool accessories from us. It's 100% free. We cover the shipping cost. All you have to do is use our Samsung affiliate link when you place your order. It's for US only. You're going to place your order on Samsung US website, use our affiliate link at launch, and we cover all the shipping. That's how we actually pay for it is using our affiliate revenue to give back to the audience. Put your email address, first name, last name to sign up. When it gets closer to the launch, we'll be sending out information as long as well as the links for you guys to use them. This year, we're also giving away some 75-inch Samsung TVs for every 500 people who participate in the Mystery Box program. Check out all the details in the description and pinned comment. So if you use Google Chrome, you probably know that if you want to take a screenshot in incognito mode, it tells you that you can't do that um, because of security precautions. That's the default on Android and also any other place that you use Google Chrome. So what if you want to be able to do that? You want to be able to take a screenshot uh, in uh, incognito mode. So the way you can do it is by using Chrome flags. And like I said, Chrome flags are very simple to access. The way you do it is you type Chrome and then you do colon and then you do slash slash and then you do flags. It's actually right there because I've done it before. Once you see it, you'll see this page here where it says experiments. Now, there's quite a few um, that I like to enable, and I want to show you guys some of the other ones. I already enabled the incognito screenshot. You can actually find it just by searching for flags here at the top. So if you're interested in the screenshot capability, you can see you can just search screenshot. And then from this list, you'll see the incognito screenshot enables incognito screenshots on Android. It'll also make incognito thumbnails visible, and the flag will be ignored when the improved incognito screenshot flag is enabled. So what that means is there's another one down here um, where it says it enables incognito screenshots on Android except while the user's on the recent screen. Um, this only affects devices on API version 33. Um, so these two are mutually exclusive. But this is the regular one. This is the one I've always used. Um, this is the one that I think most people use when it comes to incognito screenshots. So that's the first one I want to talk about. Obviously, let's go ahead and demonstrate this does in fact work if I open an incognito tab. And let's see, let's just visit a website. Let's go to cnn.com. And then I want to take a screenshot in incognito mode. No problem. It'll let me take a screenshot. No issue whatsoever. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the incognito screenshot flag. But there are some other ones that you might want to look at. In fact, if we go back to the page here to see the ones that I have enabled, the uh, one down up here, enable device-free authentication for incognito. Uh, when this is enabled, a setting appears in settings privacy. So actually you can go in here and you can look at it. Uh, to enable re-authentication for accessing your existing incognito tabs. So you have to re-authenticate, um, basically put in your pen, password, etc. Um, your fingerprint, you can do that to authenticate when you want to get into your incognito tabs in Chrome. Okay, so that's obviously the incognito stuff is a big deal. Um, but the next one that I want to talk about is also very popular, and that is parallel downloading. So if you go up into search flags, start typing parallel. I often mess up the uh, parallel downloading here. So parallel downloading, it's right there. Parallel downloading allows you to enable parallel downloading to accelerate download speeds. This will allow you to get faster download speeds. So if you enable this uh, Chrome flag, and you do have to relaunch if you enable a Chrome flag, which is fine. You just have to relaunch it for that one comes enabled. That happens with all the flags. Um, this basically takes and makes it so that it splits large downloads into smaller parts, downloads them all at the same time, uh, which prevents you from losing all your progress in the event of an internet outage. 
Uh, after you download it, Chrome reassembles all of them into their big file so that you basically have the entire file that you're interested in. And um, this is definitely one of my favorites to enable as well. The last one I wanna show you guys is heavy ad intervention. And what this does is it reduces excessive advertisements on web pages. Uh, it uninstalls ad that use too much of the Android smartphones resources. Uh, and so this one I think is enabled by default. Uh, it doesn't, the one thing that's annoying about Chrome flags is it doesn't tell you whether or not it's enabled or disabled by default. It just tells you default. So this is a good one to enable to make sure it's enabled on your device because this does help you with web pages that have a lot of advertisements and kind of allows you to then um, mitigate some of that and especially how it sort of affects your phone. Um, there's a lot of other useful ones like um, biometric reauth for password filling, um, offer save and autofill, uh, accessibility page zoom, which is another one that I really like. You can have a lot of fun kind of reading through these and just seeing what all of them do. There's a lot of really fun stuff that, you know, you really can't hurt anything because if you enable something and you don't like it, you can go back and disable it later if you realize it's causing, you know, a detriment to your device. So if there's something you, you know, want to play with, feel free to do it. And uh, I find that enabling flags really helps me use Chrome in a more effective way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of Chrome flags, particularly how to take a screenshot in incognito mode, which I know drives a lot of people crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you guys are going to be pre-ordering your devices from Samsung for the S24 launch, go get a mystery box if you're in the U.S. Fill out the information here on the website. It's in the, in the pinned comment and description. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.